So here's another one of my machines. I uh, bought this second hand for a good price and it's a Bond Elite. Now I've not even attempted to try and knit with it because if you do the test you can actually see all the needles very loose and bouncy although all the needles look uh, in quite good condition so what i'm going to do in this video i'm going to show you all the frustrations that i have as a learner getting to know this particular machine comes with a videotape which unfortunately i have no longer got a vhs player is it a vhs yes i think it's vhs so let's start i am going to i followed another video i'll i'll, I'll let you know who that lady was it's very informative so i am going to attempt to screw the back off and get to the old sponge so wish me luck so before i take the needles out i'm just going to make sure that all the latches are closed so just make sure and then they just lift out quite easily so click it back and just remove them like so just before i start on the sponge i've started to soak the needles in a solution of surgical spirits and a squirt of machine oil the smell is horrendous i hate anything chemically the smell but some people don't mind it but me <laughs> makes me sugar right so giving them a clean although like i say they're not too bad i found some fluff but other than that so when they've soaked for 10 minutes or so i'm just going to pop them in there and then give them a wipe okay the moment of truth let's have a look what have we got here well to be honest that doesn't look too bad but well, at least this one's coming off all in one piece. Whereas the ones that I've seen are all, oops, we've left a bit behind there. So I'm just going to take the time now. And, oh no, flicks up. It's not actually stuck. So I think we're good to go. But what I have taken note of is this has got like a cover there. So the one that I've but it's just under here that's also got a, a backing there so i'm going to make sure that i do exactly the same so it's quite easy to fit it fits snugly into this channel here and luckily i have the old sponge just to measure the length of it so that's how it actually fits all this is going straightforward and I'm wondering what's going to be the hiccup so I'll just finish off doing that it's got to go in over the top of this so while you're pushing it in just press it and then it will fit in but up to now that's the only tricky bit but like I say it's doable I can't really show you from underneath because I've got no one to hold the camera for me. But once you get into a rhythm and the more you get in, the more needles you get in, it's easier. So what I find, it does hurt your finger a bit, what I find is press the sponge bar up from underneath if you can see these wiggling here. So make sure you, you close your latch and then find where you've last put the last needle and Press up on the sponge, press up on the sponge, and then when you've got it past the sponge, press up on the needle, and then follow. 
so you've got to press you've got to press that needle up from underneath and then it will just go into the channel it really isn't that e hard more fiddly than so press up on the sponge to get it past the fabric bit and then it becomes more easier as so that's it everything's back together it wasn't too difficult if you've got one of these that needs replacing the sponge bar it's doable i mean this machine like i said there wasn't much to clean so uh yeah so all the needles are more in place they don't all fall forward so uh yeah I'll, there should be no excuse now for this not to work <laughs> although it wasn't a good idea putting tape along here because i had to clean the residue off but it did hold it together so maybe use a different kind of tape so that's that there's no big join sticking up so it's all gone back together quite well so i'll uh, let you know how it goes Well, I've been playing with the Elite for <laughs> quite some time. Um, not managed yet to complete a project. It keeps dropping stitches. Now, I think this one, if you have them too tight either end, I think it bows. And you have to be pretty brutal with it. You have to really go with the carriage um so this is the first attempt <laughs> i mean it makes a lovely stitch you know that that is the stitch and it really is nice <laughs> but uh, i ended up making a mistake on that that was going to be a scarf uh, i've not yet finished i've not managed to complete this one i thought right we'll do a small one uh, i ended up dropping stitches in the middle again now your favourite tool is going to be your transfer tool and your um, the other end to it. The, the I don't use that other end because I'm hopeless at it. I use a crocheting hook because I'm used to repairing um, drop stitches on my Addy. Uh, so I just use a crocheting tool and I find the latch tool. That's the word I'm looking for. A bit strange to use, but it would be a good idea to get used to using that so that's going to be your favorite tool uh to pick up drop stitches um so frustrations right okay i did mention i was going to tell you about the frustrations uh right let me think there's many there's many right so number one make sure you don't have the two ends too tight because it will bow because i was having problems moving the carriage this way but not the other way and i'm thinking hmm what's going off here then so i looked and it was just slightly raised so that caused me issues i've got a love hate relationship with these yarn guides tried using them without and ended up dropping stitches at the end so that was a bit of a pain um you use them they work but then the yarn gets tangled around them so you're forever untangling it um there is a learning curve to it definitely a learning curve am i enjoying it yes because i i've never touched a knitting machine before not a flatbed one anyway uh so there's a learning curve to everything um so yeah i'm i'm, I'm okay with it <laughs> i'm okay with it uh, this is my new contraption when i want to change colors of, uh, it's just a, a an old clothes rail so that that's coming handy because you okay so i was having a few issues as you saw in that last video and i've been online and i've looked and basically here's what i've done i've decided these yarn guides and the tension mass are a complete waste of time they're driving me mad and i just get tangled up with it so i've decided to try and operate it um 
just like the old Bond classic where they're going up and down. Is it the old Bond classic? I think so, yeah. So, what I noticed, I had an issue with dropped and the um, drop stitch here. So I thought, right, let's, let's sort that out. So I changed a few needles. Then I had a look at the bed to see if it was warped in any way. And I thought it could be here. So I got this, uh, it's like a non-slip mat just here, or which I've put on. Leveled off the bed itself. Uh, didn't screw it too tightly because apparently that can cause warping. And then last night, I piled a load of books <laughs> in the middle. Whether or not that has done any good whatsoever. Uh, but I've decided to just to see how it goes. This is just a piece that I've been working on. This is it's nothing in particular. Um, but up to now, if you can use your own tension, it's a lot better. I'll see if I can just show you. You saw in the last video what the problem, what the issues were. It was jamming, dropping stitches, and it's such a shame because it has potential. Basically, make sure you've got your yarn running free. Move my glasses out of the way. Don't need them for a bit. So I've got tangled already, which you don't want to do if you've got to try and keep it. So at the end here, someone advised me just just pull up and then I let it go like that so I get to the end again just pull up let it free fall just kind of hold it but it's just so much better it's not dropping stitches and I can adjust the tension myself I'm used to adjusting the tension with my Addy so you kind of get experience with that, although it's nothing like the Addy. <laughs> um, so pull up slightly and it's running so much better. You still have to sort of like just stop and make sure you're not tangled around anything. But, oh, and I also greased everything. <laughs> Grease the inside of this, grease the inside of that. Everything you looked at, I greased, I sprayed. Um, so, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I've managed to go quite a few rows without making any mistakes, which is good. So, I might have the confidence to make something. So, yes, really pleased. Hope this video has helped you.